And then because of Hart's law, which states, I invented it, when pulse chain launches, pulse X launches with it and someone is very likely to set up a pair between pulse X and pulse. So pulse is like Ethereum and pulse X is like Uniswap. So there'll be a pair where you can trade in the free market one for the other. And this will be before the most popular bridges open. So, you know, the bridge that I say, this is the awesome one, right? Cause I know who built it. The bridge that allows people to take value from the Ethereum network, bridge it into the pulse chain network and then pair it with their free PRC twenties to do yield farming. So let's say you have chain link, right? $2 million of chain link has been sacrificed here. You bridge in your E chain link from the Ethereum network onto the pulse network. You pair it with your free copy of all your link, which is already on pulse waiting for you. And then you make money as people trade that pair. And then you also receive an extra yield token, an incentive reward token for being a liquidity provider. And then the value of all of the free, uh, PRC twenties that people got their ERC 20 copies is backed by the value of the, the ERC twenties. And then because of Hart's law, which states I invented it when two things trade versus each other, their values against the dollar, both move up and down together because they're bonded by the liquidity in the trading pair. So if, if there's a, an E link from the Ethereum network and there's a link on the pulse network and one of them goes up, their value versus the dollar both goes up. If one of them goes down, their value versus the dollar both goes down because they're interchangeable for each other. They're bonded by their liquidity. And so there will be two primary ways. Well, I, I think in the beginning there'll be one primary way you're going to get real world USD dollar value in and out of the pulse chain network. And it's going to be bridging to other stuff, probably primarily Ethereum. Then one day you'll have fiat on ramps from other places like direct listings. <clears throat> so before the bridge is open, cause you want to lock in that airdrop at a $0 cost basis by making sure that it's valueless when people receive it and you want it to be worth nothing when people receive it, then it can get valuable later. Just like Satoshi, Satoshi launched, uh, launched Bitcoin. Doesn't know any tax on it, right? It, you know, keeps getting capital gains. It's not taxed on his unreal capital gains. <clears throat> so you'll be able to trade PLS X, which people are, doing the sacrifice phase right now for PLS at whatever the market rate is, the, the market's going to decide that before the bridge is open. And you might, you might be able to get a better deal before the bridge is open. Cause once the bridge is open, I think you're going to see buy pressure, you know, and you're going to see a USD dollar value as well. So it's very interesting. It's an interesting play that you can, you can get PLS through PLS X, um, by trading it before the bridge is open and you can trade it after the bridge is open, but I think. I think that you'd have more demand.